Just over 24 hours away from the primary election here in Louisiana, polls will be open across the state so you can cast your vote for governor and many other races. There are also a bunch of local races and a handful of amendments you need to know about, Matt. Yeah, there's a lot on that ballot for folks. So our Kelly Hubbard getting a chance to sit down with a political analyst talking about what we're going to see, gauging the folks' interest, what we can expect at the polls. Kelly, good morning. Good morning, Matt. There are four amendments on this ballot. You're going to see four different ones as you head to the polls tomorrow. The first two driven by the pandemic. So the first amendment that we're talking about deals with elections and whether or not non-government agencies or organizations or foreign, meaning outside of the state of Louisiana, can fund elections for the state or for mun municipalities. Political consultant Clay Young predicts that Louisiana folks will support it because of all the other chatter about other sources playing in elections in other places. Amendment number two addresses protections for worshiping inside churches. A vote for this one would give the highest level of constitutional protection for the freedom to worship inside of a church and require courts to apply these when the government tries to restrict access. A vote against would keep the current level of protections for churches. Young also predicts this one is going to pass. All around he says turnout is going to be very important. Southern has homecoming this weekend. LSU plays Auburn in a late game. I do think there is an opportunity for people to turn out. I'm just interested. Louisiana has about 2.9 million registered voters. We have we are among the highest percentage of registered voters based upon state population, mm -hmm. but our turnout often leaves something to be desired. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if people have the itch to go and vote on Saturday. More than 356,000 people statewide participated in early voting. But of course, you're going to want to stay with us on WFB. Tomorrow, we have election coverage going wall to wall. We'll have those election results rolling in on WFB.com on your 9 News app. You can also stay up to date. The Secretary of State's office has all the information you need as you head on out to the polls. Matt and Liz. Callie, thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. And we